So private link is one of those services that just confuses the heck out of me because you cannot just type in uh, the search bar in the console in the AWS management console private link and have a clear understanding of this um, offering. Um, it is a bit fragmented in the console and uh, the documentation does not help uh, as much other otherwise, but I do my best here to try to help make it make sense. So AWS private link is a broader service that allows you to securely connect your VPC to supported AWS services, AWS services hosted in other AWS accounts, supported AWS marketplace uh, partner services without the need of an IGW, a VPN, or an AWS direct connect connection. Now you can use something like an AWS direct connection in combination with private link, but I'm just saying that you don't have to have one. Um, and so here's a setup of using private link. This one specifically, if you are either connecting to an existing service provided by somebody else that's third party, um, or if you are wanting to create your own service that, that can be connected via your, I suppose your own AWS account to that service from other AWS accounts through private link. And so there's two components I want you to know about. The first is the interface endpoint. That is what's going to establish an endpoint so that you can go talk to private link. And on the other side of it, we have a service endpoint. And this is if you are creating your own service or if you are connecting to another service, there will be a service endpoint there for you. There's a couple of components here. I don't have text on the slide, but I'll tell you about it. But generally when you're using private link, you're gonna see a, um, uh, ENI, an Elastic Network Interface card. So that is the way it's going to work and it's deployed in a VPC. If you are connecting to a service, hosting a service, there's gonna be a load balancer in play here. So here is an example of an NLB, a network load balancer that would be part of that puzzle because it needs to distribute the load to the applications that you're going to be uh, connecting to. So you would have to um, select, if you set up your own service endpoint to select a load balancer that you have configured. Um, there's this thing called Private Link Ready Partner Service. This allows you to access SaaS products privately as if they're running in your own uh, VPC. Because when you go and you uh, use Private Link, you'll have the option to go to the marketplace, which um, is where it's very easy to connect to third-party uh, services. But there could be third-party services that aren't in the marketplace, but uh, you can establish connection. And so that is that one there but you'll see the word private link repeated a few times in the VPC section here. So understand that it's for some things and for, uh, others do not utilize it. And the only one that actually does not utilize it is gateway endpoints. But uh, yeah, there you go.